trying to join that illustrious group. Uh, he'll need something off the charts today because he's 12 shots behind as he makes his way to the chipping and pitching area. And how would you assess Bubba's work the first two days, Nova? Not terrible, but just pretty average, similar to, to, to McElroy. Just didn't get off to a wonderful start. And, and it's difficult when you see somebody in the field making it look as easy as Jordan Spieth is making it look, and then you're going out there and you're struggling. It uh, has a tendency to take its toll and maybe force the issue a little bit, and it leads to, at times, some mistakes, and you just start to scratch your head going, wow, what course is that guy playing? You know, it's interesting, Nota. Bubba's had uh, a week with a lot of... Um I don't know, I would call them maybe distractions. Uh, you always have that when you're the holder of the of the trophy and, and you have certain obligations. There was also a survey that came out earlier in the week where the results were not quite as favorable as Bubba would have liked about his popularity amongst uh, some of the other players. I'm not sure that's had a negative impact on him, but you know, I think you're seeing him do a lot of things uh, to try and regain the confidence of the players, like waiting for Ben Crenshaw yesterday in his green jacket when he walked off the 18th green so it, it just I get a sense that Bubba's has had a lot on his mind this week besides actually tackling Augusta National a, a, in a golf tournament he said with respect to that poll I thought he handled it really well he said fair enough I'm trying to become a better person but nonetheless he is the type of player he possesses those skills to take on this golf course he re can reach every single par five and two and he shapes the balls better than pretty much anybody in the field so he can access those tight tucked hole locations and if he just gets a little bit warm not necessarily hot if he just takes care of the par fives gets a little warm with the putter he certainly can put up a seven or eight under round fairly easily He's having some fun right here, and nobody shapes shots the way Bubba does. Self-taught, great imagination. What I want everybody to look at here is Bubba's eyes. Bubba Watson plays golf with his eyes. Everything is visual, and you will see him. Take a look there. Okay, he is visualizing where the shot is going to go. He will hit a variety of shots from the same stance, the same setup, to completely different targets. He will curve them in different directions without changing his setup position. So he, he sees it first with his eyes. He makes his adjustments with his hands. Sort of like the shot he hit in 2012 from out of the woods. Yeah, certainly, and Mark brings up a, a great point, and Bubba has talked about certain venues that suit his eye. He can frame the shots from the tee. Put up a wonderful performance at Riviera a couple years ago, shooting really low scores over the final 36 holes, coming from behind to win that tournament, and that course is visually appealing to a player like Bubba. He gets up there, sets up, and then lets his body react playing by instinct to how he sees the shot formulating in his mind and the pictures that he's creating in, in his head. And, and again, I want you to look at his lower body, folks. He's really not changing anything, but his hands are what are dictating the shot. That was a totally cut off follow through. Uh, but nothing with the rest of his body changed at all. Here he is looking again, trying to visualize where he wants this ball to go. It's going to appear, he's looking real high here. Nothing has changed with the rest of his body. He's going to do it all with his hands. Nice, high finish. The higher you finish, the higher the trajectory of that ball is going to go. And Phil Mickelson used to do, I don't know if he does it anymore, but he used to do a a demonstration where when he was younger where he would have actually someone stand in front of him and holding their hat and it'd be very close and he flop shot the ball right over their head into the hat that they were holding in their hand upside down and I don't think uh, Steve Loy would let him do that anymore for fear that he might <laughs> injure somebody but at that time it was pretty remarkable because I don't know a lot of players in the game that would even try a trick shot like that I'd love to watch him tune up. <laughs> no one's saying that, that, that you can hit it like Bubba at home. You're not going to hit 330-yard drives, but you can go out 
your practice sessions and just have a little fun, right? Try to hit some different shots. Every golfer in the world that is watching right now ought to take a lesson from this. Use your imagination, because when you use your imagination, whether you're on a tournament practice area like he is, a driving range at home, or on the golf course, it's going to create more enjoyment for you. And, and Bubba Watson, when he is creative, imaginative, is able to enjoy the game more, and he plays a whole lot better then. It's all hands and hips and knees and ankles, and everything's flying all over the place. Such a dynamic player. Try to make a case for Bubba contending into Sunday, currently 12 shots back. You figure he needs to shoot 65 today, and then Jordan Spieth would need to shoot probably 73, 74, something like that. We'll come back with more in a moment.